Remember, we promised you when we were still living happily gay the uh, uh, the bucket list that that he and I were going to compare. That we hope to do some of these things, or many of these things, or most of these things in our retirement years. So we've done that, and we haven't seen each other's lists. Nope. Um, like, do you want to do it in order, or is it really hard to no, do? You'd, that? you'd go one, and then I do one, and we'll see how many duplicates we might happen to have on the list. That's a good idea. There's no loser here. No, I don't think so. And if he wants to go to some place I don't want to go, then I'll just send him off with some other boyfriend, and, then, uh, and I'll go ahead and play with the cats. Yeah, no, I'll take the cats with me. I'll serve you right. Mm, well, okay. That's good to find this out after 22 years that you're being. Uh, blackmailed, my goodness. So, in no apparent order on mine, but at least things that are maybe possibly possible. Yeah, I think there's a few on here. I, All right, well, you want to go first? You want me to go first? Sure. Okay. I talk too much. I, on uh, my list, I have going to Fairbanks and Denali and seeing the Northern Lights. That's not on your list? Um, no. No. Well, I'm surprised. It, well, it's not, but it's... The it, person it's who knows every part of Alaska from top to bottom? Yeah, but it, this was this was all um, thought out in regions, basically. Oh, oh, so oh. So what I See, did... I have specific places, so that might be interesting. Well, okay. It's interesting, though. So what I did is I started with Western Canada, but not coastal West Canada. I started at Alberta. So, uh, with the first few days in Lake Louise and Banff. Oh, Victoria Gardens and Banff. Okay. Well, Aha. Those are ding, back. ding, ding. It's in the same, yeah, in the same range of area. It's, it's all homogenized. It's all beautiful. That coast from north of Vancouver all the way down, almost to San Francisco. So mm -hmm. lovely. Uh, okay. So, so I did you that. Know. So we kind of checked there. Okay. Then you go next. Uh, number two. It's in that, again, that regional thing, Seattle and Vancouver. Ah, mm -hmm. yes, I wouldn't mind doing that. I have the Cherry Festival in Michigan. Oh. Yes. And I did not have that. Ah. We've talked about that a number of times. Mm -hmm. um, my number three, and again, it's not necessarily a solid three, but we'd love to do it, is we've never been to any national parks in Utah, and we know mm -hmm. that they're some of the nicest in the country. Yes. And I just added to that Wyoming so we could then do Yellowstone. Yeah. And that would be probably a trip that we do four or five national parks. Yeah. Okay, and, yeah, I didn't have that. And that's pretty practical. Mm-hmm. Number four. Number four. <laughs> I have, I'd love to just, because, go to the Iowa State Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see it on TV, and those of you in that area would know, it just looks like a great time with some really bad, great food. Yeah. We and look. nice people, and just just fun. Mm -hmm. They do their, their fried curds, which are mm -hmm. wonderful, with, and then just, just drench the whole thing in butter. They also do fried stick butter. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, We're on Lipitor, it's alright. Your turn. <laughs> Well, number four, and we might have this both, we probably do, and I just happen to put it there, is a Rhine and Danube river cruise on Viking River Cruise Lines, where it's a small boat that's compact, everyone's got a balcony, everyone's got a suite, and I've never seen anything like that at all. The mm -hmm. castles and the, and the vineyards and such. Mm -hmm. You can't see that on an ocean-going boat. You have to yeah. have that, this wonderful, River, river cruiser. Yeah. Is that on yours, Brad? Is that close to a Viking river cruise? <laughs> and at the same position, more or less. How about so, that? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Okay. So that looks like something we're going to have to do. Apparently. And, and save our pennies because they'll add some push. pennies. It'll be about and eight here. or nine thousand round trip oh, on that. Here's some more pennies. Uh oh. My number five on my list is Volcano National Park in Hawaii. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you, you Paul has some friends in. Uh, on the Big Island? Uh, Bob and Rick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, whole, the Big Island uh, Palm Society, Hawaii County Palm Society, 
and we uh, I got on their mailing list and I started to contribute to them and they always send a, a postcard every every week or so sending telling us they're gonna have a barbecue <laughs> and what you know do you want the teriyaki chicken or the or the mahi mahi and I said We'd want both if we were there, but we, we can't go again. So yes, That's we'll be there. Maybe we'll be there. Okay. And I didn't. Well, it's another island, but I put the UK. You put the UK. I did. I did. Huh. Probably because it's so familiar and it's it's friendly, and we like it. I think we would like it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm right next door to him. Um, number eight on my list is Ireland. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's gonna get out his jig clothes, and we'll we'll get drunk on Guinness, and uh, enjoy that too. Yep. Okay. Well, I didn't do that, but I think that probably it's very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, I went the other across the Atlantic, and I said that I'd love to see uh, Atlantic Canada in fall. So Nova Scotia, oh. Newfoundland, hmm. Labrador, and um, uh, St. John's, that area. <coughs> Saint, yeah, uh, Prince Edward Island, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess it's New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of a little, but the fall is gorgeous, weather's nice, and people are very friendly, and mm -hmm. you have to drink a lot too. Yeah. And they are right across from Ireland. <coughs> so sure. that's, that's we're still on, on a, a logical okay. progression here. Um, grandiose or, or regular? Regular. Regular? I'd like to go to Minneapolis, St. Paul, to the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any time of the year in particular? <laughs> well, certain time of the year, not in particular. But uh, I, I would say fall. And then we're going to have to take a lot of fall trips from the sounds of things here, but yeah, I'd say in the fall. It's the best time to see the variety. Yeah. And harvest time is wonderful. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I put New Zealand. Wow. Which is so beautiful. Yes. And so remote. Yes. But probably would leave a huge impression on us. Probably. I didn't put anything that grandiose on my list. Mm. Well, it's, I consider this an essential. Mm. And I, I, wow. I think that, um, I think we would be blown away. Yep. Yeah. I really do. <coughs> so that was my wow. number seven. I'll, go, I'll do eight, then you do eight. Okay. Uh, and this, and again, I don't know if you call this grandiose, but Argentina and Chile. Wow. Not the, the, not the food, but yeah, Chile. Oh, the food? Chile. Oh, yeah, not the Chile, Chile food. The Chile, Chile is Chile. in the country. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You're going that way. I went in a different direction. Okay. I've got starting off in Rome mm -hmm. and heading up to Florence and ending up in the Tuscany region. I've told Paul, now I've been to Rome a couple of times, courtesy of the U.S. Navy, um, and I just love the antiquity where some people say everything is so old. Well, yeah, that's the idea. Um, crumbling. So, yeah, crumbling. it's crumbling. And I know that uh, Paul would just really enjoy all the history that's there, and I have no problem going back again and again. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, can, I would love to. Uh, and if I did another two positions on here, it probably would have been mm -hmm. on there. Or if I didn't forget to. Well, that's okay. But yeah, we, Brad's wanted to take me to Italy and since we first met. So yeah. That, yeah, he's been very proud. My favorite of country that, that uh, I went to in the service. Yeah. And so, yeah, that would, maybe that doesn't have to be a bucket list. We'll just say, here's the money. We'll never we'll know. Go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, here's the money. And, well, and I, I hear, again, with... Um, a little bit more expensive, probably. I don't know. I just put all the Scandinavian countries, the four, uh, the four of them. Yeah. Because yeah. they're nice people. They're very nice people. And not that I'm into herring as often as they do. No, not them, really. But, but the but, reindeers to die for. Yeah. And uh, Northern Lights also. That is true. Mm -hmm. Yep. I got the part of Sweden for a day, which didn't do it justice. And then. Uh, and then the Netherlands, yeah, they're very, very nice, mm -hmm. nice people, just nice people. I guess, I don't, then Denmark, is, is yeah. Denmark Scandinavian or? No, that's, that's, that's European. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the Viking, Vikings were mostly from Norway or from Denmark? Norway. Okay, well, I would put that in, I guess, separately, because I would like to go. Oh, it's right across the, they just, now they have a bridge when, 
I was there. They didn't have a bridge. You took a 50-minute hydrofoil across mm. the uh, mm. across the straits. And Malmo that was pretty near Malmo Copenhagen. over to Copenhagen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Then we can see the the uh, grave of um, Hans Christian Andersen. Ah, yes, and the Little Mermaid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh huh. Um, Proxima uh, destination uh, number nine, and again doesn't have to be, but it's probably expensive. But since I love botanical stuff, uh -oh. Borneo and New Guinea. <laughs> Somehow I knew that was coming in there. Yeah, and I yeah. think I think that is uh, there's this things that grow there and animals that live there that are just almost Jurassic. They just are so. Um, so beautiful and so unusual and isolated. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge amount of tourist throng that they let in there, but uh, I think it would, anybody who wants to see nature at its gaudiest, you would, you would enjoy that. Yeah. You know what it sounds like? We should probably apply for the Amazing Race. Yeah, I, I would get out of breath though, and yeah, probably. I ha I'm sorry to tell you that your number. Four and you have been eliminated. Eliminated, yes. Yeah. But yeah, and that would be nice. The last one on my list, which is so remote that you need to just go there, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted to see Mount Rushmore. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the Black Hills. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could probably tail that into your uh, Wyoming, Utah, and South Dakota. Mm hmm. Or to Minneapolis and drive across through, go see yeah, Argo. I mean, yeah, and I remember they say it's a lot smaller than you think it is. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure you get there. You, you yeah. There were, I don't know if you'd say this. That's it. Or uh, say, wow, that's it's it. It's uh, It's the, the majestic position. Yes, that I would think in. so. And they're they're in the same area. They're working on uh, sitting bowl. Sitting bowl. Yeah. It's gonna be much much larger. But no, that's the, everybody yep. loves that. Yep. And the the last is because I don't know either one on their own, probably can't see both, but I'm learning more about countries that are very, very impactful on our lives and probably more more interested now in them than they, than they, than they were before, but Japan and or China. Mm. Uh, Tokyo, they love Americans. I know you guys do, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's a fun city. It's very expensive. We like Kobe steaks. Yes, we do. Uh, China, it's so, it, it's, you can't describe China in one one word because it's it's got the amount of variety, or, or not more so than the United States. It's yeah. a little bigger than we are, and I think most people either do the coast from Shanghai down to Hong Kong, or they do uh, Shanghai up to, to um, Beijing, but you want to, you're not going to see the whole Great Wall, but you'll see some of it, yeah. which is magnificent. Yeah. And that's, that's so about it. What, what, how, a few of them we were totally off on, but One, not that bad. Two, three ish, four. Yeah, I, I would, I could put UK in with, with Ireland, but I won't. So I think they'll at least say that's one. Okay. And I would say, you, you didn't do, do Australia, right? No, I did not. So, yeah, I New wasn't Zealand. thinking that. Yeah. Grand. Yeah. Uh, we could have put Antarctica, too, but that is, a, <laughs> that is awe-inspiring people who didn't put that. So, yeah, it looks like four here, too, probably. The China, yep. Japan, um, the Borneo, New, New Guinea, New Zealand, and uh, I'll say UK would be different. Other than that. But different, yeah. 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 And it probably would be more likely that we would do North American. It would be a shame if at least the bucket is so, is so leaky that we can't even see most of the good parts of North America. Exactly. We didn't put Mexico down. I noticed that. I think we, we want to see the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the one in China, not the one in Arizona. I don't know. I don't know. But That's another discussion for another day, I've but we're running them. way over time. So yeah. we really should bid our folks adieu until our next video. A-D-I-E-U, adieu. And thank you for the subscriptions. We're doing wonderfully now. And hope you have a wonderful spring, because it is spring now. And uh, all that, all your bulbs come up and bring color and life to your garden. Mm -hmm. And 
maybe you're not living life under the palm, but you're having a wonderful reawakening or rebirth of, of life on your, your own tree. And enjoy them. Enjoy your summer. Yeah. Thank you for visiting with us. Press that share, that thumbs up, the like for us. We really appreciate that as well. And then until our next video or our next recipe for the spice of life, mm -hmm. we bid you a wonderful day. Da, 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 da. Be good Mahalo. to yourself. It's the best friend you have is you. Bye. Bye bye.